So now let's talk about multiplying and dividing radical expressions. First, let's review our vocabulary. So if I have an nth root of a, a is called the radicand, and n is called the index. And there are two rules, one for multiplying and one for di dividing. If I have the nth root of a, and I multiply that times the nth root of b, where the indices are the same, I can rewrite that as the nth root of a times b, all under the same radical. And it's important we can go this way, we can also go backwards, and we will be going both ways. Same thing for dividing. The division rule is if you have the nth root of a fraction, you can split that up into the nth root of the top divided by the nth root of the bottom. And again, you can go both ways. So let's go ahead and use that on these three examples I have. So going one way, multiplying. Square root of 5 times the square root of 6. Same index, they're both 2's. I can rewrite this under one radical with 5 times 6. And of course, then you would simplify that to be 30. So here's how it works the other way, and this is the most common way that we'll be doing it. The square root of 18. I would like to simplify this, and I would like to get an exact answer, an exact simplified answer, as opposed to something your calculator will tell you. So what I, I want to do is to look for a perfect square factor. So look for a factor. A factor is a number that goes into nicely. Factor of 18, the radicand, that's a perfect square. So while I'm writing, you were thinking, and I'm sure you all came up with 9. 9 goes into 18 nicely, and 9 is a perfect square. So what I'm going to do is rewrite 18 as the square root of 9 times 2. That's legal. My multiplication rule says I can now split that up into two different radicals, square root of 9 times square root of 2, and square root of 9, we all know, is a 3. Ah, square root of 2 we don't, so it stays square root of 2. So the square root of 18 simplifies to 3 times the square root of 2. I promise that's what I'm going to ask you on the final. Dividing, so I have the square root of 12, which I don't know, divided by the square root of 3. I don't know that either. A couple ways you can go about it. I'll show you one way. They're both square roots, same index, so I can write this under the same square root symbol, 12 in the top, 3 in the bottom. Now I can reduce that fraction. That's going to give me a square root of 4, which again, we know, is 2. So this expression simplifies to 2.